Okay, who's ready for a little refresher on the exponent rules? I know I am. So let's do a quick once over. When we're dealing with the a exponent rules, we're just talking about things that you're allowed to do when you have exponents on a number or letter. So a base, let's go with two, to an exponent three, for example, means to write the base so there's my base, and here's my exponent. It means to write the base that many times. So let's do that. So we're going to have 2 times 2 times 2. Just using little dots for time so we don't get screwed up with x's. And 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, therefore 2 to the 3 is 8. And there's a bunch of things that you can do when you have numbers with exponents to make your life a little easier. For example, if we wanted to have 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 4, we could write that all out as 2 times 2 times 2, and then 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Or we could memorize that 2 to the 3 is 8 and 2 to the 4 is 16 and then have to do 8 times 16. Or we could just realize that what we have now is we have 7 2's all being multiplied because the brackets essentially right here, what we have right here is a multiplication. So it would be like another dot or another, another whatever multiply symbol you want to use. Alright, so that's 2 to the power of, and I almost wrote 16, but it's 2 to the power of 7, because there are 7 2's. So the exponent rule, when you are multiplying, you add your exponent, because 3 plus 4 is 7. Then sometimes you have an exponent to an exponent. So we've got 2 to the power of 3, and that is to the power of 4. So if we can pretend that 2 to the power of 3 doesn't exist, we don't know what it is, what that means is we've got that purple squiggle, so I'm just going to make that a question mark, times itself four times. If we're just going to use your basic knowledge of the exponent at uh, four. Um, so let me just use brackets just to show that you can use the brackets and the dot at the same time. So it's four of them, just like we saw up here. But it's not a question mark. It's 2 to the power of 3. So it's 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 3. All right, but what does 2 to the power of 3 actually mean? It means this. It means 2 times itself 3 times. Are you ready for this? I need to make more room for myself. 2 times 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 All right. How many twos is that in total? Well, that's three of them four times. So there's 12 twos here. So that's two to the power of 12, which of course has a numeric answer. But what would you rather do? Would you rather just say that the exponents times each other will give you an answer? Or would you rather try to figure out that 2 to the power of 12 is some really large number? I'm not even going to bother telling you what the numerical answer is. So this exponent rule is that when you have a power to a power, you multiply the power. So let's let's retract here, let's go backwards, not retract, but back up. When you have a power on a number, and it's that same base, and that's the really important part, and you have another exponent and you're multiplying, you add the exponents. When it's power to a power, you multiply the exponents. Let's take a look at another uh, rule, and it's when you have a uh, very similar scenario to the first one that I showed you. I'll just use this left hand space over here. If I had 2 to the power of 3 divided by 2 to the power of 4 instead of being multiplied by. So let's see, we've got 2 to the power of 3. We have 2 to the power of 4. Now if you know anything about multiplication, you would know that 2 divided by 2 is 1, so essentially these cross out, these cancel, 
um, so we can start doing stuff like this so that's a one that's a one and that's a one and what we're left with is a single two at the bottom these are all gone and we just have a two and what we're gonna do is we're gonna say well that's one over two the we're left with a an invisible one here as if this was all being multiplied by one. So that's one half. Now I know I didn't do the greatest job explaining this, but um, this is important to show you something else. And it's what do you write when you have an exponent or a base or an item in the denominator? How do we rewrite this so that that's actually two to the power of something? Well, in order to understand what we're going to be writing here, we need to understand the exponent rule and what exactly happened. So I'm actually going to go to another page for a half a second, and we're going to take a look at a new scenario. I'm going to say 2 to the power of 5 divided by 2 to the power of 2. So I've got 5 twos over 2 twos and what we saw before was we get some canceling out so we end up with three twos over essentially nothing or in terms of mathematics one nothing and so we have two to the power of three is what we're left with well how did we get there five take away two is three we had five and we took away two of them. They're gone. We literally subtracted them from the list of five. So the exponent rule there is to subtract. Let's go back to our previous example. And what we understand is that three take away four is negative one. In terms of a number line or mathematics or money or a thermometer, if you're at 3 and you try to take away 4, you end up with negative 1. So a negative exponent is how you would write a fraction. So that's actually really important to understand. If I have 7 to the power of negative 2, that negative means that that's actually 1 over 7. It's the fraction to the power of 2. And that can get really confusing really fast. Similarly, if I had 2 over 5, all to the power of negative 3, well, that's like just flipping this so that it's 5 over 2 to the power of positive 3. Now I'm not using this lesson as an actual full out lesson. I'm just trying to remind us as to what the exponent rules are. So here we go. When you've got same base and you are multiplying, you add the exponents. So let's not forget that that's the power of one. When you have same base and you are dividing, you subtract the exponent. Power to a power, you multiply the exponents. And when you have something to a negative exponent, that's called a reciprocal. You reciprocate. And what you end up with is 1 over, and it's no longer negative. So that's the exponent rules in a nutshell. And again, this is just a review.